Hello and welcome back to Yog Labs. Today we are looking at some more uh, experimentation that's gone on in the, in the, the Yog Labs facility. Simon. Oh, sorry, I was just using my executive washroom. How's it going in here? Uh, I was just on my throne. <laughs> the office is a disaster area still. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You excited for some 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 crazy stuff? What's going on? I want to see what crazy stuff we've got in the labs today. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, me and uh, some of the scientists have been working on on some new projects, so I thought I'd show you them. But you, you're going to have to go through a bit of decontamination first. I beg your pardon. I've already showered today, Lewis, and that's very rude that you would say uh, make you know make such well insinuations and as aspectations. Listen, it's standard protocol for you to just you know be deloused, defleed. Wait, what are you saying? So if you just wait here outside the medical bay, I'm just going to go and uh, open the security door for you. Okay. Uh, so just sort of stand there while I while I go through security. Because I'm I've got you know pri I've got privileged access. I can just you're right down there. Just yeah, just... I'm great. I'm doing just fine, mate. I should have sort of set up a magazine or something for you to read. That would have been nice, but you know. Don't worry. Uh, so if you just come into the decontamination chamber. Ah, oh, thank you. Which we blew our way through before. Do you remember when we? Oh, were? I remember this. Yeah. Just stand still. D like, don't worry. In case of any serious danger, please remain calm. If you could just take all of your clothes off for a second. I beg your pardon. Excuse take your top. Take your take your, your top off. Is there somewhere I can put them? No, just just put them in your inventory. Oh, okay. I was I was going to throw them on the floor for some reason. But don't worry, sure we're not going to burn them. We're just going to if you just throw them on the floor. Actually, that will help as well. We'll we'll be able to delouse them. Okay. And deflee them. And get rid of any alien or biological agents. I have, I have been doing a lot of weird things lately. I did go into space. Ow! Okay, don't worry. I'm just. This is fine. This is. What like, are you doing? Don't worry. Look, this is totally fine. What's going on? Okay, there you go. How's that? Should that should be enough? I feel a sting all over my body. Is this normal? Okay, pick up your armor. That should be all right for you to wear again now. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so head through into the medical bay. Is this really necessary? All this palaver. <sighs> We've Don't had... question your authority. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Uh, so if you if you head through, this is the this is the sort of medical facility that we worked in before. Okay. And we've got a few things set up in here. Oh. Uh, and so what we're going to have you do is do some uh, work on on cloning. What? So the f first things first. Here's a syringe. Would you like to take some syringes? There's some in the bottom cupboard here the, on the ground. Oh, God, the cupboards. I forgot about. Empty needles. Yeah, so grab some empty needles. Right. If you, if you just uh, if you just sort of make sure the needle's empty by pressing right click um, with it. Oh, there ah, you go. Good. Um, I, uh, That's right. You, uh, I tricked you there. Sorry about that. I needed to get a sample of your own blood. Oh, thanks. I feel sick now. Well, don't worry. Look, it's totally fine. You've you've only sucked out about a litre of blood there by the looks of that syringe. It was only a little prick. How did a, a litre of blood come out? Well, look, don't worry. Look, That's you'll nearly be, two pints. You'll be back to normal in no time. Uh, I, this is partly why I needed oh, you to go through the, the cleansing process. Oh. I mean, this is fanta it's fantastic. So... So what we're going to do is, uh, we have actually got some milk and cookies somewhere. Oh, like when you give blood, when you donate blood. Oh, where, where can I give you them? I've, I'm sure I had some somewhere, Simon. Oh, God. Uh, are you desperate? Okay, I'll just give you, I'll just give you one. There you go. Have a, have a little bit oh. of milk. Oh, and I'll thanks, get, I'll man. I'll get a cookie as well. Um, oh, oh, I did the job. Uh, a cookie. We've only got Asian cookies. Um, Asian cookie. Yeah, because we've still got the Asian foods. It's got a fortune inside. It says, don't listen to what Lewis <laughs> says. He means you harm. Okay. Because he's a bastard. Don't worry. Take a few more needles. We're going to need a few more needles for, for the cloning process today. Right. Now, cloning yourself is very hang useful, Hang on, Simon. hang on. Cloning and my own blood. What? We're going to be cloning me. Well, listen, what happens if you get injured or, or get hit by a bus? Oh, my God. Uh, and you, 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 know, you, you lose a limb? Or your, or your heart needs a transplant or a kidney transplant. That's very interesting because, I mean, if you've seen uh, The Island uh -huh. starring Scarlett Johansson and was it Ewan McGregor? Uh -huh. That was the whole, uh, you know, that spoiler. But that's what that was all about, cloning and having a spare. Having a spare. The Michael Marshall Smith novel, Spares. What else was there? There's... Look, listen, at the end of the day, it's very useful to have this, this sort of stuff. This is brilliant. This is a brilliant idea. I thought you were mad. Well, no, I'm, I'm not cr cr that well. Well, what? you haven't gone, we haven't really get started yet. Anyway, oh. cloning is very useful, Simon. Look, if you get your syringes and you take them into our, um, 
temporary volunteer storage recovery ward? No, sorry, it's not recovery ward anymore. Uh, it's now the temporary volunteer storage. I don't like the inverted commas. If you head in there and you just take a few samples of blood, uh, we're going to need uh, a few different samples from people. Oh! So that's... Hawkins McBacon. What yeah. a lovely little name. What's this little fella called? Guy. We've got Guy. That's Sips's sheep, isn't it? Uh, is it? Oh, well, I, I captured... What? I No, I mean, he visited... I mean, uh, what? They ca no, no. Oh, this blood looks a bit weird. What, what? What? What do you mean? His 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 blood looks dark. Villager blood, it says, and it looks all dark and weird. That's poor old. Uh, well, Clucky. It's from the Jaffa factory. Yeah. Okay, I've got a whole host of blood. Actually, yes, yeah, some of them do look different. Like the the pig blood is sort of pink in the needle. The villager blood looks a bit dark. Yes. Yeah, so My blood's quite light coloured. Is that good? Is that healthy? I think so. It's pretty normal. Don't worry about uh, the volunteers. They all volunteered for this. Totally. It was totally... They signed things and everything. Okay. They did, we didn't torture them or anything or force them or capture them or hold them hostage or take them prisoner. Nothing happened. Why would you even bring that up? Why would you say... What a strange thing to say. This here is a centrifuge. Okay. If you want to just whack the, bl the syringes... Oh, actually, no, hang on. First of all, we're going to need to oh. take out the, the blood and uh, put it into a uh, test tube, I think. So if we get some empty test tubes and you, you put oh, a careful. syringe... Oh, careful, they just throw them around, Lewis. <laughs> I did this in chemistry class and we had to pay for all the broken glassware. <laughs> well, listen, we've got a very high budget, so we can pretty much be very rambunctious and... I don't know what that means, but sure. I'm not sure I've used that term correctly either. How do I put the blood in the test tube? I think you just put the test tube and the syringe next to each other in a, in your crafting in your own crafting bench. Oh god. Is that right? Yeah, chicken blood. Oh god. Villager blood. Get all the blood out and put it in this thing here which is a centrifuge. It's very pig blood. Useful tool. Me blood. Yeah, we need your own blood. That's the most important blood. Okay. This is why we're doing this. Careful not to get them mixed together. You don't want to end up with a clone that's like half chicken, half pig. Oh, my God, that would be a mate. Half pig, half dwarf. A dwarf oh, and pig. Oh, little dwarf pigs. That would be beautiful. <laughs> with a little beard. So I do, do I put all of the blood in Put here? the blood in. I mean, these are separate, so you can put, you know, you can put like hundreds of vials into a centrifuge. Well, I've got four and there's four. That works out perfectly. You've done well. So if you grab this bit of coal, I've just thrown at you as well. I'm allowed to throw coal on the floor. It's a bit dirty. Okay. Suddenly it's not quite so high tech. Yeah, and pop the coal in the middle. Sure. And then hit the spin button like it's a lottery thing. Oh, and it will start spinning. And if you look at it, if you tab out, if you look at it, it actually is spinning around. All the blood. Oh, my God. All the blood is spinning around. And what this does is this separates out oh. the blood, you see. And it separates the plasma out from the, um, the, uh, the clotted And this is how you cells. extract DNA. It is. So get the blood out. Okay. Okay. And then the next step is to... Gets darker. Beautiful. I think the next step is just to put it back into syringes. I th don't. I drink it. You you don't you don't drink it. No. Okay. We we, we set we for goodness sake. Man. Oh my god! Yeah, your DNA. I've got my DNA in a syringe. Thank God for that. Thank God you didn't drink it. Okay. It's my own blood. What what would have what's the worst that would have happened if I drank my own separated blood? God knows. It would have. God knows what would have happened. Oh, no, nothing much. Anything surely. could have happened. Okay, so have you got now have you got syringes full of blood? Don't worry that those syringes... I mean, don't worry that those syringes already had blood in them, so they were a little bit dirty or oh. anything. Don't worry that you're... Mm. Did, do you remember which... You know, do you remember, as long as you make sure you use the same syringes for the same DNA, there shouldn't be any problems with this or anything. I think I did that, but I can't be certain. I mean, this is quite important. Oh, Because, you know, right. I mean, if, if uh. for example, you got the pig one mixed up... You know, oh my god, it'd be a clone of me, but it would have like a snout. We are, you, you do know, we are, <gasps> da, da, da. we are doing this for the data bank, the Yog Labs what? data bank. So, in case of you know emergency recovery, so we got you on file, your blood on file. So, quickly, we can make a new clone. That's the idea. Okay, gotcha. Okay, right, anyway, you need these eggs. Now, these are chicken eggs, but I, I've, I've sort of modified them so they are they're not chicken anymore, they're just like open, they could have any DNA put in them. So, I think if you try and inject the uh, syringe into an egg. How do I inject it? With the crafting table. Oh. So I think you just... Um... Oh! So there's a counter and it's got a crafting table just in it. Yeah, and I think you need to have it... Um, do you have to have it pointing at the egg on the crafting table? Um, 
I can't quite remember what you do here. You'll have to figure it out. I think you also might need a bit of bone meal. I think the reason is that you need oh. this generic sort of DNA template. So if you put... Oh, it's like bone marrow or, or, or something. Yeah, so if you go bone meal, egg, syringe. Bone meal, egg, syringe... Human egg. Okay, you've got a cute. That's that's an egg. Um, it's an egg that's been impregnated with your DNA, your cloned DNA. Spawn pig. Spawn chicken. Oh, I need one more bone meal. Okay, here you go. Um, and then you'll have spawn. Spawn. Villager. Moo moo. So I've got spawn villager, spawn chicken, spawn pig, and you could just have them anyway, but yeah. human egg, that's the... Oh. Okay. Let's just dispose of these spare eggs. Okay, get rid of them. That's fine. Oh, they're not supposed to be... Oh. Never mind. Uh, don't worry about that. So... Hello. <laughs> one thing that I might as well mention, actually, while I'm here, is um, that we're on 1.5.2, and in that you can actually use anvils. Now, these anvils don't actually have a texture, <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, oh. But if you right-click on the anvil with one of your oh. pig eggs, for example... Put it on a counter. I'm sure it looks cool on a counter. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't actually work oh. on the counters. These f the furniture mod... Anyway, uh, if you use... So, th for example, this is just a way to make pig eggs and oh. cow eggs naturally in the game, okay, that you wouldn't normally be able to do. Um, and so if you just if you put them into the anvil, those eggs, you can actually name them, and this is how people create custom-named mobs in creative mode. Okay, so I need some uh, XP. Oh, yes. And then I can rename... Uh, what's it called? Uh, po Bottle O Enchanting. Testifi fi testificate MD. Okay. Egg. Well, okay. I need a little bit more XP. Okay. Well, I mean, you'll, we you'll figure out how badly you've done it wrong when you put that egg down, I guess. There we go. I've got an egg called testificate underscore MD egg. Okay, now if you right click on that on the floor, uh, it will spawn a clone of testificate MD and then it will be called testificate MD egg. Oh. So he's now got an egg in his name. Um, you might have to might have to destroy this failed clone. There we go. Oh I'll my... extract his DNA and just start over again and let's kill the evil clone. Well, hang on. No. What? I mean... So you can't just extract his DNA and start over again. That's that's madness. A clone of a clone. No, but that's madness. It's you like a photocopy of a photocopy. Yeah, it gets like more and more mad and insane and evil as it, the more it's done. So what's going to happen when I put my egg down? Oh well, okay. When also, you... why does it say human egg? I'm not a human. I am actually a dwarf. Well, listen. It's... Give me some more XP. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I can't. If I rename it Dwarf Egg, will it be called Dwarf Egg? Yeah, 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 I think so. So I have to rename it Honeydew. Well, let's try it. Okay. Just call it whatever you want. Honeydew. Okay. Should I call it Evil Honeydew? No. Now, human eggs don't hatch immediately. I'm not sure you should call it evil. Why would you call it evil, Honeydew? We're not evil here at Yog Labs. What we're doing is for the good of advancement of science. Good, Honeydew. And all of humanity. Okay, so I'm the evil one. Okay, sure. Okay, so if you put the egg down... Up here. In this in this thing called the cradle. Oh. Which I've created. Below, here. Yeah, but right below, in the, in that on that square. That lovely, welcoming, purified, clean, white is square. Is this going to be safe? Yes, it's totally safe. So on that white square... Yeah. Okay, so it takes a while to incubate a human egg. You know, you can't just pop a pop a full, fully grown villager or egg uh, or pig out of an egg. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy, Simon. That's not how humans are made. No, they're made by the stork. When a, when a mummy stork and a daddy stork love each other very, very much, much, they have sex and a baby pops out. <laughs> that's I think that's how it works. Then they it? bring it to humans. Yeah, and then the humans look after it and raise it as their own uh, from a very young age. Uh, so, this is a human egg. Okay, if you right-click on it... Oh, God. It'll say the egg currently belongs to Honeydew. Oh, my God, 35 it's minutes? It's currently incubating with 35 oh, minutes. Oh, bloody hell. But that's why we put it in this cradle. Okay, now, if oh, you... Oh, it speeds it up. Yeah, so I'm going to just turn it on. Now, if you give it a redstone clock, which I've built here... Or Richard build it. Oh, my God, that has really sped it up. Look, it's speeded it minutes up. Minutes are becoming seconds. Yeah. And so it's going to be 29 minutes before we have your, your baby your baby clone. Now, all babies... Okay, I'm going to warn you, okay? All babies look alike. 
Okay, what do you is, mean? It's just a thing. I think that's racist. No, all babies look alike. You can't say that. And they look very different from their daddies when they're born, but... They all look like the milkman. Isn't that funny? <laughs> There's some very hairy babies. Uh, but they, they, they might look a little bit odd to you as soon as it's born. Just... But this is my baby. No, it's not your baby. It's your clone. It's, it's you. It's mini-me. It's mini... No, it's not mini-you. It is you. A mini-dwarf me. We didn't dwarfify it any further than it's already a dwarf. It's not a dwarf dwarf. It's just you. Okay. So I, you're saying I might not recognise it? Four, you might not recognise it immediately, but, three, but we can very quickly two, modify that by mucking with its one. DNA. Okay. Mama! <laughs> okay, so... Mama! Right, first thing we want to do is uh, stick your head into its brain and muck around with it. So right-click on him. Why is it called Steve? Just right-click on him. Oh, my God, what is this? And then you want to change its name up in the, in the top, um, top left, I think. You've got some options. You've got a ton of options. So... Ah! Rename him. Mama! Okay, good Honeydew. Okay, well, actually, don't call him that. Just call him Honeydew. Right. Uh, because that will brand him to your uh, specific skin. Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. So if you tab back out, you'll see that you've created oh, a little baby, adorable. a little baby clone version oh, my God. of you. Um, oh, quick, Lewis, take a picture. Take a picture. I want this. I'm going to tweet this. Okay. Make sure he's looking towards the camera. And cheese. Cheese. Prunes. There you go. I Prunes. Good. That's what you're supposed to say when you have your picture taken. Prunes. 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 So it makes you pout when you say Prunes. it. Prunes. Prunes. Oh, which well, so are they supposed to be pouting when they take the picture, or are you supposed to have your your? It's like a duck face, a natural duck face, Prunes. by saying Prunes. Prunes. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go into his options. The first thing you want to do is oh. have him follow you. Have him fight. Fight, follow. So pretty much you can turn almost everything on. Sprint, okay, everything. Pretty much everything apart from something something to do with blocks. A guard position, don't turn that on either. What about female? Uh, well, if you turn him onto female, he will grow some small pair of boobs. Um. Um. Yeah. Oh, he's got a little... <laughs> That's boobs. That's, oh my god, where's he? Whoa! Now, that's the problem with sprint. It makes him whoa, glitch whoa, whoa. out. So turn, actually, maybe turn sprint off again. So go in, go in and find him. Oh. And um, turn turn sprint off. Options: sprint off. Okay. Boobs off. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> so he should follow you now if he's not trapped in this wall. Uh, if you turn wander and. And one wander off as well. You don't want it to wander around. Okay. And guard off as well. You don't want it wander to wander off. Guard. Where's guard? Guard position. That's off. Okay. We'll see if he'll follow you now. So he should. Um. Come on, little honeydew. Come on, little fella. Uh, Come on. He seems a bit confused. Is a, he trying to dig a hole? He, he might be. He might be a little bit. He wants to dig his first hole. He might be a little bit dazed by what's happened. He's a little bit derpy. It he must he must take it off for his mother. Have you definitely got him a follow? Um Options follow is now on. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, he's not behaving. That's fine. Follow is on, definitely. Okay. Oh. oh! Wow. Okay. Whoa! He's a bit flighty. <laughs> so this works like a charm. Hey, don't worry. This it was working fine earlier. Maybe it's just your clone is a bit glitchy. He's a bit like me, I think. I'm a little bit concerned about him. He's 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 not behaving. He's not doing as he's told. Yeah, be careful with him. What are you doing? Well, I'm just pushing him around. Don't manhandle him. That's my baby boy. <laughs> Sorry. So. Uh, you could give him some equipment and all this garbage and junk, and you could give him one of these things as well, or you can actually just use this, actually, if you right-click on it. It's a clone tracker. Oh. It will actually keep track of where your clones are, and it's kind of useful uh, because if you get a clone tracker, you can figure out how many clones there are of you out there, what they're up to. Oh. You know, it's, it's we put a microchip in their brain as we birth them. When did that happen? During what part of him being birthed? Because I didn't notice... I popped it in really quick when you weren't looking. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. I must have blinked Well, don't worry, moment. I'm very good at it. I've been doing a lot of brain microchipping lately. Um, did you... I did one to you earlier. Did you feel that? Ah, here we go. Put a new one in? Well, there was a whole bunch of... I put one in up your bum. I beg your pardon. You can't did say you, that. Did you feel that? 
I've, I've excuse me. <laughs> what microchips? Look, we've got. Look, I need to keep track of you. You're an important asset to your labs. Is he dr- is he being dressed? Is this working? Yeah, yeah. He's looking fantastically trendy. He's got little sunglasses on. Why? Where, did, where did you get the sunglasses <laughs> from? <laughs> oh, he looks amazing. He's like he's a secret agent. Let's take those off of him. He's like a secret agent, Honeydew. Anyway, if we pop, pop out a failed clone here, it's possible that he will want to fight them. Oh, my God. Well, he is useless. Uh, okay, what, what, what I forgot to do was I forgot to enable him entities to attack. So if you... Hang on, let's get rid of this guy. If you right-click on him and say entities to attack uh, and then you click mobs, that will allow him to actually... Select all mobs. Yeah, select all mobs. That's like the hostile stuff. Now... Okay. Ah, look at him go! Oh. Fantastic. Oh. He's a little combat drone now. Okay, good. Now, the other thing you can do is you can get actually oh. bring him up to full size um, by f- throwing glistering melons on the floor. Oh, I don't know if I want to. He's so adorable. Oh, Look well, you can just increase him up a little bit in size, maybe. So, anyway, we'll, we'll throw... He's gone to hide in there, but... Oh, here he comes. He's going to eat the glistering melon, and he gets a little bit bigger. Oh. Look, he's put on a bit of weight. Um... Oh, look at him. Oh, don't go him too much. I like... You like him small? Okay. Can I have a glistering melon? I might grow a little bit too. Um, okay, it just... How do we trade without throwing it on the floor? As soon as I throw it on the floor, he's going to eat it. Look, throw it over here. Throw it over here, quick, quick. Oh, he gains more HP as well. Um, as soon as he sees something on the floor, he'll just eat it. Oh, I can't eat a glistering melon. Uh, well, never mind. Maybe... Maybe, um... Yeah, so that, one thing you could do is I think you could trade XP. You can give him XP, and that will make him sort of better as well. You can take his, so he'll gain XP, and you can take it off him. Um, so, you, like, because you're linked, you know, you're cyclically linked like clones. So, yeah. And the other thing you'll do is farm. Oh! So if you turn block breaking on, on him, you right-click on him, and you search for crops, and you say break crops, he will break crops. So the other thing I just need to give him is a few seeds, and... Oh then he'll God. replant them as well. So have you found... Have you turned block breaking on? Crops. And then you click crops. And there we go, look. Oh, he smashed wow. them all up and replants. He didn't mess around, did he? Oh, my God, he didn't. Bloody hell spells. That was quick. Um, like his dad, I guess. So, oh, there you go. That was kind of amazing. Uh, that's the clones sorted out. That's all we've got for time for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Simon, for testing out the clone. We'll get that added to the database. And uh, you will be on record there. And if we ever need an extra kidney or a leg or whatever, they'll be they'll be they'll they'll be ready. Oh my god, where is he going? Oh my god, he's digging a hole. Simon, where's he going? What's he doing? Oh my god, he's digging a hole. A he's hole. digging a hole. Oh, lovely! Look at him. Oh, he's digging his first hole. <laughs> so. Oh no, he, now that is a real dwarf. Look at him go. <laughs> Wow. Oh, well, I love. Oh, look at him. He's digging out onto the bowels of your labs. I don't oh. know. He's going to start mucking, breaking all the electronics and stuff. No, he stuff. won't do that. He knows that that's wrong. Have you told him what he's allowed to dig? I, I, well, vaguely, I think. You told him glowstone and dirt. I told him, go forth and dig holes, my, my little baby. So he went straight into the earth and started digging a hole. Well, fantastic. Oh, see you later, Simon. Um... Yeah, train him well, and and don't get into any trouble. All right, I'm going to be a good daddy to him. Okay, good. See you later, everyone. Bye! Bye.